Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. So let's graph the following information. So what I want you to do is pause the podcast, see if you can complete these six things on your own, and then let's take them up. So pause your video right now. Okay, welcome back. So hopefully you've uh, completed the following correctly. Okay, here's our H value. Here is our K value. And as we said, the H value is whatever's opposite within the bracket. So we have a negative 5 there. So the vertex is positive 5 for our H, and our K stays the same. So at 5 and 3. So let's find the point 5 and 3. Here is the point 5 and 3. There's our vertex. What is the axis of symmetry? Well, the axis of symmetry is whatever our H value is, and the, or the X of our vertex. And that axis of symmetry is that X is equal to 5. We know that the parabola, the mirror, will be right at this point of the vertex, going um, vertically. Okay. Uh, in terms of the direction of the opening, what is the A value? The A value is a negative value, so the parabola will be opening down because A is negative. What is the pattern? Well, the pattern here, because the A value is 1, the pattern remains as 1, 3, 5. So let's actually plot the next points. So we know it's 1, 3, 5, but going downward. So we're going to move to the right one, down one. We're going to move to the right one, and down three. And plot the next point. We are going to move to the right one and down five, two, three, four, five points. Okay. And of course, we have a ruler. Plot the points. And beyond five, I, the, the one, three, five, I'm fine with you stopping beyond it. But remember to continue. Parabolas go on forever, so please extend them. Now, in terms of the axis of symmetry, we know it's at five. So we want to find the points directly opposite. Okay? And we just continue with our reflection of our parabola. Okay? Now, in terms of maximum and minimum value, well, since the parabola goes on forever, we cannot grab anywhere down here. Okay? Parabola, we extract, we can extract what we call pretty much a maximum value. And that maximum value we get, we have a maximum because we are going downward. And our maximum value is whatever the y value of the vertex is. So the maximum value is at y is equal to 3. Now, in terms of the range, what values of y are included in this range? Well, it includes everything from within. So notice our highest number for y is 3. Our lowest number keeps going lower and lower than 3. So our y value is going to be everything that is less than 3, but also including 3. Okay, so when looking at the range, you're looking at what values of y will fit within the parabola. And as we know, it goes on forever, so it's an infinite number that goes on and on and on and on. Okay. So, final note. When the quadratic function is in the form of y is equal to a brackets x minus h all squared plus k, remember that the sign from within the brackets represents the opposite. Okay, so in terms of this, well, we have x, we have a negative h. So negative h in terms of the vertex will represent positive h. Okay, if this h was positive h here, the vertex would be a negative h and whatever our k value is. If you remember, k remains the same. Okay, so let's look at the following examples here. And the following, as we said, here we have our h. K, H, K, H, K. Negative 1, so we get 
positive 1 and 3. Here we have a positive 5, so our vertex is negative 5, and our k value is 9. Here we have negative 1, so our x value or h value of our vertex is 1, and our uh, k value is negative 13. Okay, so keep in mind that whatever the h value is, it's the reverse when writing out the vertex.